Hello, my name is Mai Rieno. I'm the founder and interdisciplinary artist at Playful Grant in Monterey, California. I was born in Fukuoka, Japan in 1977. The neighborhood where I grew up was quite interesting when I think about the way in which I think and do things today. It's a mostly residential neighborhood. However, it was kind of chaotic and mysterious. It's conveniently located from the city center with nightlife of restaurants, bars, and businesses dealing with sex. It's also a historical area where people settled in, created a village, and started to grow rice for the first time in Japan. During and after World War II, the nearby airport was used by both Japanese military and U.S. Air Force, where American officers used to be stationed. Although it was before I was born, I read that there were mixed languages of Japanese and English were used in the neighborhood by locals and people from the United States. After I graduated from high school, I moved to Kyoto to attend Doshisha University and study English. In my third year at the university, I was given the opportunity to study abroad at Amherst College in Massachusetts. This experience made me think of my future move to the United States, which was actually my dream from childhood. My journey as an artist started here on the Monterey Peninsula in 2002, when I moved to study art at Monterey Peninsula College as an international student after I graduated from the university, with a new dream of becoming an artist. I studied printmaking as well as other foundations in art and design at MPC. There, I tried to reconnect myself to the roots back to Japan, and find connections between my old home and my new. These are a couple of examples of prints I made while at MPC. The left is an image of Kyoto, and the right is a big sur. In 2005, I transferred to a graduate program at San Francisco Art Institute, where I earned a master's degree in fine art in 2008. During the graduate school, I was exposed to more contemporary art practice and started experimenting my practice in installation and performance art, as well as socially engaged practice. After I finished my graduate study, I started working as an assistant director and teaching in City Studio. It's a department that offers art programs to youth and adults in underrepresented communities. I also continued to do socially engaged art in my studio and in the community, where I invited the public to participate, engage, and share experience in the environment that I created. Year 2010 became one of the most difficult time for me as a foreigner living in the United States. I was living in the country first with a student visa and a work visa since 2002. However, I lost my job at SFAI and had to move back to Japan. This is my last performance artwork that I did at the school, where I moved to my office in the gallery, greeted visitors, and asked them to write about themselves. Surprisingly, a lot of people wrote pretty personal stories to share their challenges in life with me. I mailed 80 plus responses on the day I left the country on December 31, 2010. Inspiration for my art has shifted from time to time. However, there are a few things that I always care about in my life, and for my art, which are shared experiences, community, and collaboration. And I kept going with these elements for my artwork after I started my life again in Fukuoka in 2011 by hosting a weekly meeting called Apple Pie Meeting. At the meeting, participants cooked and ate apple pies together, shared dreams, and created collaborative projects to make the dreams come true. Just a little over two months after I moved back to Japan, huge earthquake and tsunami hit the northeastern part of the country. 
I was living far from the disasters, but thought that I was supposed to be in the country for this. So I moved to Tohoku region where towns were destroyed and communities were devastated. There, I had an opportunity to teach in innovative educational initiatives through my work for a nonprofit organization. I moved back to the Monterey Peninsula in 2013 and started to reconnect myself to the community. I did a participatory performance at Pacific Grove Art Center titled Connect. At the same time, I used art to remember the disasters and people whom I met in Tohoku and created paintings with seawater and waves. In 2017, I received a grant from Arts Council for Monterey County and hosted an interactive community art exhibit titled Playful Ground at Pacific Grove Museum of Natural History. My intention for the exhibit was to introduce experience-based art to the community and bring people together with art and creativity. I wanted to create a space and situation where community members gathered and share the creative experience that they may never had experienced before as an art exhibit. Later in the same year, I opened Playful Ground as a socially engaged art studio with a vision to offer a space for creative experiences opportunity to learn art and creativity and express freely in a positive, supportive, and fun environment. I've been interested in the idea of color in the way which certain colors represent different races and rainbow is a symbol of LGBTQ community. I use mixed colors for my artwork and I also have done performances using colors. To me, colors mean diversity, and I wanted to blur any boundaries of our differences and create unity among us with empathy, care, and respect with my artwork. Not only have I done art in my studio, I have also collaborated with art and non-art organizations in the community. This is live art event at Youth Arts Collective where I did live sewing of my signature Happy Monterey Sardines. And I also did a performance art to commemorate the women's suffragette 
centennial at this year's Women's March Monterey Bay, for which I made the style dress inspired by suffragette and asked participants to write names of women who inspired them on the dress and the sash. People's participation and interaction have been an important aspect of my art, which became quite difficult after the pandemic. This was my last interactive performance before shelter in place at Monterey Museum of Art in collaboration with Monterey Makers. The dress was a collaboration between art and technology, and I created it with LED lights and bent sensors that detected movements of my arms by handshake, waving hands, hugging, etc., and activated colors and movements of lights depending on which parts of the arms were bent. What can I do during such difficult times? This was the question which I had when the earthquake and tsunami hit Japan in 2011. And I asked the same question when the pandemic started to change our way of living. I still work with youth from Tohoku in a summer program at UC Berkeley, in which students learn city planning, civic engagement, and leadership. Inspired by the program and the participating students and adults, I've been able to do the kind of artwork that I've done at Playful Ground in that community. I started creating playful performance videos to stay connected with people, show how to be resilient, and still enjoy life every day.
As a person who came from outside of the country to the community here, finding a place where I have a sense of belonging has been an endeavor of my life and art. As an artist, I'm learning that it's not so easy to find a truly comfortable place in the condition of society today, no matter where I am. Black Lives Matter might be about African American people and their community. However, I truly share the challenges, frustration, and sorrow as I am a woman and a person of color. So I created this video for which I put myself in a black trash bag with many holes made by my cat at play. It was dark inside, but the holes brought light inside of the bag. And gave me a feeling of hope within the darkness. Hello, it's me. I'm inside a black trash bag. I'm seeing light through these little holes that. A cat that you made from his plane with this black trash bag. It's dark in here, but I can see light through these little. Oh, yes.